D.H. Lawrence. David Herbert Lawrence. D.H. Lawrence. D.H. Lawrence. D.H. Lawrence. Not only is he a novelist, a story writer, a critic, a poet, and, but he is also a painter. Most people know of D.H. Lawrence because of his novels and his poems. When awareness of the outside began to come back, she clung to his breast, murmuring, My love, my love, and he held her silently. There is a band of gold in the West. Lawrence, can you tell me a little bit about your past, how you grew up? Well, I was born in Eastwood, Nottinghamshire, on September 11, 1885. After leaving school, Lawrence avoided going into the coal mines like his father and much of his family, and instead became a paper pusher for a company selling surgical appliances. Not exactly an illustrious start. But he was actually a great playwright as well. Only one of his plays was performed in his lifetime. I think the fashion at the time when he was writing plays, which was sort of round about 1908 to 1912, um, was not for working class drama. And The Daughter-in-Law is a terrific example of about a relationship set amongst the Nottinghamshire working class. Here was D.H. Lawrence. He moved all the way from England and he had just under his belt was Sons and Lovers, Lady Tattery's Lover, and The Rainbow. He had finished those three novels and was working on a fourth novel while staying here at Mabel Dodge's home. Um, in fact, Bernard Shaw was an admirer of D.H. Lawrence's plays, and uh, he said that my dialogue always smells of the typewriter, and um, his feels absolutely real. And like his novels, he kind of seems to go deeper into the human soul than a lot of other writers do. The moment the mind interferes with love, or the will fixes on it, or the personality assumes it as an attribute, or the ego takes possession of it, it is not love anymore. It's just a mess. Poets and writers Always passing through Just to say goodbye To someone they never knew Now isn't that interesting? Very. <laughs> Aloha and signing out from Taos, New Mexico.